Our next award is the Ben Blackstock Award, which is named for the former Oklahoma Press Association Executive Director. It recognizes a non-governmental person or organization that has shown a commitment to freedom of information. The Ben Blackstock Award for 2020 goes collectively to reporters Paul Munnies, Whitney Bryan, and Cassie McClung. Their letter of nomination stated, Paul, Whitney, and Cassie are relentless in their pursuit of records in Oklahoma during the COVID-19 pandemic. Paul created a special database. Whitney went after nursing home records and Cassie after hospital records. They have also been instrumental in their reporting of accurate numbers throughout the pandemic. Uh, Paul, Whitney, and Cassie, would you all like to make any remarks? I'll let uh, Whitney go first if she wants. <laughs> <laughs> Passing it off, huh? Well, I'll just say thank you so much. I have my award here um, that was dropped off the other day. So thank you so much for this honor. I learned so much this year about public records, <laughs> more in a year than probably the first decade of my career. Um, and it, in a lot of ways, it's really, I think, made me such a, a much better journalist. And I've learned a lot from people like Paul and Cassie, um, from my editors who were very patiently allowing me to chase down uh, information and giving me the time I needed to keep pushing for that really important information. Um, and to so many sources who um, really were the inspiration for those fights. Um, being able to give nursing home families, especially, and others who, you know, have loved ones who are suffering from COVID um, or who have even died from COVID, um, you know, a little bit more information about what's happening. Uh, hopefully that provided a little bit of peace for them and uh, comfort. I know for me, the information helps when we're in all of this chaos that 2020 has left us. So, um, I just hope that, you know, I could provide that to Oklahomans who are following the journalism and I'm so honored to be given this award. So thank you so much. And I'd just like to say thank you very much for the, the honor um, as well. I mean, we appreciate this. This is what we do every day as journalists. We, we search for information. We hold these government agencies accountable. Uh, we push them back when they, you know, throw out random excuses for not giving us information mm -hmm. and uh, congratulations to the other honorees. I mean, uh, we've all uh, obviously had a tough year trying to navigate COVID and do everything else normally we do in a, as our jobs. But, um, you know, Cassie and Whitney, uh, you know, they inspire me every day to push forward and other reporters on the, the COVID beat, too, which is pretty much everybody is covering COVID this year in some way or form or fashion, whatever beat they may have had beforehand. And so it's, it's it's nice to have a, a designation, but you know the fight goes on. You know, every, every week we're we're fighting for different sections of records, and we're still getting some, some of the same pushback. So it's nice to have support from FY Oklahoma, our RCFP with uh, Katie Beth coming on to and helping out folks in Oklahoma to push for records, and of course Kevin's work legally in the legal system. Appreciate Bill pushing stuff out on social media and, and keeping the, the the fight alive and. Uh, Congratulations to, to Representative Eccles on the government side, too, for pushing for transparency. So appreciate the, the designation and honor, and uh, thanks a lot.